and welcome to the news. That's right. It's news time. It's yeah. Time for fun and excitement, and we're just going to skip over all the crappy stories. But let's figure out what the weather is, and for that... What's the weather like today, Fernando? Right now, here in Clearwater, Florida, we have 75. 75? Yes, really? the high is going to be 81. Ah, so. that seems more appropriate. <laughs> exactly. As you can see, currently it's 75 in Buffalo and 64 in North Carolina. Ooh. Thanks for chiming in, guys. Thank of course, you, guys. we appreciate letting us know what it is, where you're at. 56 in Massachusetts. Ooh. I still find it funny that they got snow in it's Massachusetts. Just anywhere. And, okay. And, oh, but we, we'll, we'll save that for another show. Because we got a ton of news that we need to get to you today. And first story up, this is a good one. It is? Yeah. Alpine Ship's new processor. It's the same. No, no, it's totally different. It is, it's, <laughs> it's totally different. It, this is the PXE-0850X, not S. Okay, so okay. we just changed the S from the X. Oh no, we changed the S. Okay. I was gonna say, keep going, man. Keep going. <laughs> These are the things that I just sit back and go. Uh huh. Tell me more, Fernando. Anyways, yeah, it, it's basically the same shell. Yes. As the previous S, which I own and have sitting on the shelf over there, which I guess I need to get rid of now because it's it's no longer. Um, so what's the I difference? I probably won't. The main difference is that they've updated the operating system in this to match the big 12-channel DSP that they make. Uh -huh. So they're trying to streamline the look and feel of the software so that it's not this, like, weird. So, like, when you use this one, it doesn't match that one. So it's not the same software, but it's close to the 12-channel? To the I don't know if it's identical. According to this, they just said they've modeled the software to look... To look more like the big dog processor that they have so, okay which i'm fine with uh that'll be nice uh, i guess now we can download it so depending on the type of file that they've decided to put it as we'll see if we can download it and play with it i'm anxious to do that the one major complaint that i'll have is that the software that they used on this previous was that weird file format mm -hmm. that, that is unloadable on windows unless you pay and buy the, the decoder for it, which mm -hmm. to me it's like, no, I don't right. want some weird software thing on here so that I can open up a DSP. So to me, that is a flag right there. Mm -hmm. And I, I know softwares, DSPs that we tested in the past had that, and it totally annoys me. And I'm like, I don't even want to review this anymore because right. if I can't, right. can't download it and open it, I have to go out on the internet and find some Windows file extension opener to me. That's just, it and, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, we ran into that, too, on the um, the five, the four-channel amp with the eight-inch subwoofer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it had that weird file format that you had to get. Yeah. And that sucks. So we never even showed the OS on the laptop because right. I don't, I don't want to pay money to have that. To yeah. me, you need to... Build, but you know, somebody like Alpine can capsule their software in a, in a file. It has to format. be more accessible. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah, that can be opened. But now you can get it, and you are authorized dealer. Yeah, it's so. now shipping. Uh, apparently, they had chips before chips were gone. So, kudos to Alpine for getting the new DSP out. Yeah. At some point, we'll play with it and see what it has. Okay. Um. Jeep Bash just happened here in Daytona. Yes. Yes, um, Jeep. Week. And last week we reported how MB Quartz has come out with a full Jeep system. Mm -hmm. uh, our roving correspondent and uh, one-time fan of the news show, is Jeff Smith. Some of you guys might know who he is. He was out there and he got the opportunity to listen to it. Mm -hmm. And he was thoroughly impressed by what uh, they did. Our reporter, Yeah, Jeff our, Smith. our reporter in the field, <laughs> Jeff Smith. Uh, he, yeah. he said it was. He was impressed. He was he like, "Wow, he was impressed. it was, it was yeah, nice. What it is and everything. Sounded yeah. good. Couldn't get over. Couldn't get over it. He yeah. had nothing but grave, rave reviews for it. Yeah. Um, one of the products that was also introduced was these. 
Um, this is something that they hadn't come out with yet. Uh -huh. They Metro has the front enclosures, uh -huh. but they hadn't come out with the back enclosures. Oddly enough, <laughs> this looks just like another manufacturer's. However, this is 100% plastic, whereas the other manufacturer's is metal. Um, so I'm assuming the price difference between the two will reflect that. Okay, so the grills are plastic, but the bottom part is, is metal. Plastic. It's the same thing. It's 100% ABS okay. plastic. It's funny because the box, when you go into the box, yes. it's the same box from yeah. the other manufacturer. Yeah. Like it looks the same. I don't know if they have like a like a meeting and then like, hey, listen, they're buying it from them. Buy you, you uh, know, and, and I mean, why I, not? I don't think Metro's doing that because I mean they they pretty much they have everything in they house. Can they build can their own in, yes. in house. They build a lot of plastic stuff. So. No, I'm just saying it looks funny. You know, like oh wow. Well, we'll say this: if anybody before. gets the the enclosures, glue them, roadkill them. Um, that was one thing also that Jeff had said while he was out there. The biggest complaint he heard was that the Metro dash boxes in the front are starting to fail mm -hmm. at this point since they've been out for a year or two. And uh, I was like, yeah, I don't doubt it. I mean, so if you really have cheap. one, just buy some roll kill or a sound treatment. Yeah. See if it helps. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All uh, right. That's not, I mean, I like it. Yeah. You oh, know, no, I'm cool. excited. Definitely. You know, Why not? Yes. Uh, all the way. I mean, all, all the, the way. The funny part is, like, why not put a 6x9 in there? Eh? Well, I don't think yeah. anyone had thought about it until no, they until, did like, it. No, until, like, they did and, that. And the other thing we found out, too, about the, the MB Cord stuff is that, that it's all purposely built stuff. Uh -huh. So according to Jeff, like, they designed all those speakers just for that. So it's not like they took something off the shelf that they no, no, currently no, 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 no. had. They, These yeah. are all new speakers specifically designed to go into the Jeep, which I think is great because a lot of the times it's just not that it's like all right well we have the six and a half let's just get a piece of plastic and we'll put it in whereas they were like no no we're, we're gonna make something and the fact that it's still mb quartz still blows my mind because yeah. it, 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 really those are the guys huh <laughs> and these brackets are for the wrangler jl 2018 and up and the gladiator 2020 and up yeah so there you go rear sound bar still yeah. no one has made the front speakers and other news, speaking Ooh, like of those. power sports and things that get wet like a Jeep, uh -huh. Sound Digital introduces and is shipping the Evo PS or Power Sport Series amplifiers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, yeah. To hold on, I'm pulling up this page here. All right, let's go to this. Um, right now, there are four amplifiers in the line. We have the 800.1, the 800.4, the 1200.4, and the 2000.4. Uh -huh. um, these are motorsport amplifiers. Uh, they have a conformal coated circuit board. Um, let me go back to this image here and hold on. Yeah, no. All right, so they are was developed and engineered and designed with the wants and needs of retailers. They are manufactured and built in Brazil and they are IP64 rated against vibration and corrosion. Uh -huh. So we have not just a pretty blue box, we have a, a nice addition to the line. Uh, you know, motorsports are Perfect for these, these are tiny, they're small. Um, as you can see here, this is the end cap. They have rubber over everything. Yeah. Um, power input side here. There's the, and of course, as you know, these things can fit in the palm of your hand. Yes. So, yeah. So that's, that's, that's. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Yeah. Uh, 800.4, 1200.4, and the 2000.4. That is nice. Now this next one, mm -hmm. this is intriguing, um, because I kind of want to buy one of these just to play with. Okay. Uh, because I, I it, for one, it'll work in my car, and two, a lot of people ask about these things, so I think I'm gonna contact them and see if we can get one, which I'll buy. I don't, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but uh, ZZ2 has come out with the Zeus. Now I know what you're thinking, okay, what, what is the Zeus? Um, 
and I had this story here. So the Zeus is a plug-and-play mm -hmm. plug and play adapter that plugs into the factory's USB input. Factory USB input. Factory USB input. It'll plug into it, and if your radio is compatible with CarPlay, it will then give you um, access to, like, they have a whole operating system that's on it. You can go to their website and check it out. They have a link here um, to watching their YouTube promotional video on it. But it'll work on some aftermarket radios. Oh, nice. So these are the radios they've tested it on, and it's mm -hmm. worked. Um, that's not to say these are the only radios that it will work on. Right. But if we come down here to Ford, they have the Mustang. Uh, it has to have, but here are other cars that they've tested it on. So your car may be listed. Did and they have the G35 in there? They, they, no, oddly enough, I, I thought <laughs> that was weird. They did not have a G35. They didn't think um, about me. No, but this allows you to do some like YouTube and uh, Netflix, Netflix Hulu and stuff like and that. that. Um, about working on the Halo 9, High 10, and the 1057 Kenwood XR, it will work on the F309. All right, so the Halo will work. Um, they don't list the new Kenwood or no. the High 10. So it'll work on the Z1000, which right. is basically what that is, is on. Uh -huh. So um, either way, so there again, we there have are the opportunity other, to, to play with something like that, we, we definitely let you know. Yeah, I mean, if we get one, we'll just yeah. plug it in anything we have our hands on. Um, the I, This is a... This is a full touchscreen interface though. Uh -huh. So it's not where you have to like use your phone to navigate things. Right. Watching the video, there again, it's one of those weird products. I, I'm not about watching any of this stuff on my radio. I don't I do not do that kind of stuff. It's no, just, but like, you know, I, you can watch Five Star again, on the go. You can watch some Five Star on the go. I do listen to a couple podcasts that are video podcasts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like, I end up having to plug it in my phone and letting it sit over here in the council. And if it's like, if I could just plug that in and have it playing in the background mm -hmm. natively there again it's a redundant thing i don't know if i would do it but it's one of those things that it seems pretty cool uh if anything i'm one of those skeptical guys that it's like that seems too cool it just seems too cool so i want to verify and see if it is actually as cool as they say yeah. it is yeah, yeah, yeah. um and yeah so i mean how expensive can it be Ah, a few hundred bucks. Yeah, you isn't know. it always? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it'll be less than what I paid in taxes this year, so yeah. it'll be good there. there but go. something we want to try out and play with for sure. Just uh, keep doing it for your retirement. <laughs> now, for those of you that are just tuning in, you made it just in time. Today, we're going to be giving away this guy right here. This is the Ground Zero SPL black and yellow trucker style hat. This is, this is what's... There you go, you can be cool, like, yo, check me out, I got my Ground Zero hat. This is the giveaway today. Now, uh, keep in mind, you have to keep it in the bag when you wear it. it no, looks man. better. Yeah, you gotta keep the cardboard thing. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, yeah, use the NPR music thing. Good, Nick. You, hey. Man, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I'm gonna reach out to them and see if I can get my hands on it. Dude, as soon as awesome. I do, there'll be a video about it, so. Yeah. Um, Cause that's an easy video to shoot. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, we're going to be giving this away, so stay to the end. Uh, we'll talk more about that, and uh, that'll give you time to think of a... Yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. Right. I got it. Oh, you got it? All right, he's yeah. already got it. Awesome. So mm -hmm. we'd like to thank Ground Zero for supplying us. They are going to be the sponsor of the show for the next three weeks. Um, we have another hat, and we have two mugs to give two away mugs. as well. Uh, we do have some lanyards is also, but we'll save those for another, mm -hmm. another, another occasion. So thanks, Ground Zero. GroundZeroUSA.com. Yep. GroundZeroUSA.com. Be a sponsor USA. of the show. That's it. Uh, also, while we're thinking about it, uh, one of the companies that makes this possible for us uh -huh. is CE Outlook. Yes. CE Outlook is where we get the news from. I don't have time to go and scour 10,000 websites to figure this out, but yeah. CE Outlook does. She does a wonderful job of providing industry news and information for us in the industry to find this stuff out, as well as you, the consumers. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to not have us read the news to you and would like to be up to date daily on what is happening in the world of... On the 12 volt community. Yeah. Check out CE Outlook at CEOutlook.com. Otherwise, just watch the show. All we do is take the content from her because she does a fabulous job. And we're going to let you know thank you. 
Yes, but thank you for supplying us with wonderful content making this show happen. I talked to her the other day. She said it was okay. <laughs> but, no, by all means, subscribe to her webpage. Of course. Uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yes. All right. Now, to get on to the rest of this. Every now and then a news... Uh, uh, something comes across my desk and I go, you know what? This is going to be the conversation. This is going to be the piece of information. This is going to be the story, the product, the whatever that Fernando and I are going to just be like, this is the one we're going to talk about. Like, I, I always okay. have kind of an idea of okay. what story it's going to be that is going to dig deep into our opinions and just like gnaw at the bones of just like, it's either the dumbest thing ever um, it, it's just okay. So this week, of course, this story, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you'll see in a minute, but before we get onto that one, I will say one of the things that I didn't want to talk about this week was chip shortages, cars not being manufactured, money being lost and all those things, because mm -hmm. those things all happened this week. There was, yeah. there was like four or five stories on, uh, things that, that just didn't happen. And <laughs> <laughs> thank you, negative five. Um, uh, negative three. I'm sorry. Hey, I was negative five. <laughs> negative three, negative five. What negative it three, two yeah. twenty, two twenty-one. That is right. Um, but th this story, this is this is a funny one. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and this directly reflects consumers. And so I know. Let's just just get to it, Dean. Just get to it. Oh, hang on. CarPlay radio prices rise on eBay and Amazon. No. uh Okay. Really? First off, let's just take the title of this. CarPlay radios. Mm -hmm. That's implying that Amazon guy, I'm sorry, that, that Google guys with Android don't matter. Or that even though these radios all have CarPlay and Android Auto, yeah. no one is buying them for the Android Auto. Okay. That's, I, uh, that's what you think? No, I, I think this was just a poor choice of, of titles. Uh, totally, um, that's what I just say. Said, <laughs> I, I wouldn't I even have put the CarPlay, I would have just put radio prices rise on eBay and Amazon. Totally, yes. Um, because it doesn't matter what, you know, whether you're smart enough to have Amazon, or Amazon, Jesus. Uh, CarPlay enough. or Andrea. Yeah, it doesn't yes. matter what your flavor is. No, you know, it doesn't matter. If you're a left Twix or a right Twix, doesn't, doesn't. <laughs> yeah. I was <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not going to argue that point, um, but <laughs> you're right. Um, so here's the thing. Because of the short supply on radios, uh -huh. there has been a price increase. Everyone is out of radios, all right? When, when a radio pops up from a manufacturer, uh -huh. they are gone, Yeah. all right? Yeah. And it's to the point now where it's like, we have this radio. Yeah. Send me as many of them as you can. You know, it's like whatever you'll allot me, I will buy. And yeah. and it's like I, you know, the ordering a hundred to get five, it doesn't even matter anymore. Like that, that business conscious is gone. No mm -hmm. one, no one cares. Mm -hmm. But what is happening is you get these radios that are two ninety nine, three ninety nine. Yeah. And they're charging another fifty to a hundred bucks to buy these radios. Yeah. So something like the ILXW650 yeah. that goes for 299 is selling for 380. Three. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 380? Yeah. Um and here's the question I have. Like I get it. Like I totally understand like I need this radio now. But do you need this radio now enough to where you want to spend another 70 or 80 bucks? All I right. Mean, so and the story was uh a 1400 NEX, right? Sold currently in Amazon or Crutchfield about $150 over the price that was mapped. So right. if that was $590, it's like, like we say, $620. Good. That we are so desperate to get a radio? I mean, that you can spend like another $150, $200 more on a CarPlay, an Android Auto? I just think it's funny because it's like, there are retailers that still have this product. Yes. But you're, why would you, like, I don't know. I, I guess for me. Well, you know what? I think is like any other thing when, I'm for example, opposite. like toilet paper, when we have like no toilet paper, you find news about people selling toilet paper yeah. for like a package All right, listen. of four 
for like twenty dollars. I need to wipe my butt. <laughs> okay. Totally understand. But I mean, do I, you really need to push the button on the radio? I, I, I Yours just, still works. I mean, yeah. I, I just, I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, hey. I mean, we waited seven months for the amp for the amp dyno. Yeah. You know, and it was like, eh. yeah. I, I mean, we made when we bought the the switcher that provides us with this cool. Uh -huh. Like that took what, five months to come in. Yeah. Five months to come in. Yeah. I mean, when we ordered this this Snap-on, this took four months to come in. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like I I didn't pay extra for it. Yeah. I mean, I was like, here's the price, and I was like, all right, whatever, bought it. You know, I think some people they take advantage of that and they just like, oh, <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, I remember when yeah. Twinkies were selling for thirty bucks a pack. Yeah, no, no, we don't even get started on I that like one. Twinkies. Well, Twinkies, uh, you know, because they the just... hostess was like, <laughs> bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Supply and demand is 100%. Uh, like, right now, the supply is thin, the demand is high, mm -hmm. and if you've absolutely got to have it, I totally understand. Oh, totally. But when Why you're not? paying a premium for a product that doesn't command a premium price, mm -hmm. you just have to sit back and go, huh. You know, I get it. Like, if you're looking at, like, a high-end flagship radio, then yeah. it's like, you know, listen, this is a $1,000 radio right <laughs> now. There, there's a limited supply on them, but you can buy, I will sell you this one, you know, just like when a car comes out, yes. like when the brand new Corvette came out, it was like, sticker on the car was X, and everyone was playing X plus to get to the front of the line. Mm -hmm. I'm sure mm -hmm. that's probably happening with the Broncos right now, too. Yep. You know, and it's like, I, I mean, I get the whole, like, you, you have to be first. Like, when I bought my Camaro, that was the first year the Camaros came out. Mm -hmm. So there was no deals on the Camaro. I didn't pay above sticker, but I didn't get a deal on the car. They weren't like, hey, you know, because it's you, I'll give you an extra thousand bucks off. <laughs> hey, it was like, here's the sticker. And it's like, and here's the sticker. What does that mean? Well, that means you're gonna pay what this says right here. And you're like, all right, whatever, fine. Hey, Nick, uh, just wait. That's that's one of the that's one of the things that we... we you're probably gonna we, see some 10-volt dynos yes. at this point. And that was the um, purpose of it. Um, the, other, the other little part of that story is the W650, right? That's yes. like a $300 radio. And they sold that one for 450 There isn't a world, there is not a world where I would tell anyone to pay $450 for that radio unless it was installed with a smart harness, you know. I mean, as just the brain, the radio, that I mean, box, if they give you a dash key harness, antenna adapter, and, uh, you know, a lollipop or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, candy is candy, know, some, man. Some gel to make yes. it a little easier. But it's worth 300 bucks. Mm -hmm. The radio is worth 300 bucks. That's it. That's all it's worth. You know, you paying $150 more plus shipping or whatever, oof. You got a hell of a deal on a DSR-1. <laughs> The deals are, let me tell you what, that's a hell of a deal because there are no DSR ones out there right now. Like, mm -hmm. we knew they were going to be, yeah. and I think he bought, he bought a surplus of them because mm -hmm. we use them a lot. We're mm -hmm. not, we're not reselling them to anybody no. because that's all we have for the foreseeable future and we mm -hmm. use a ton of them. So, mm -hmm. I don't think that, I don't think that the cheap Chinese radios or what we call white box radios prices are going up. I don't think so. Um, I feel that they use different uh, uh, chip supplier. Well, no, it's not even that. I don't. I, I don't. I. I think they're selling a lot of them because they're available. Of course. But you know, there again, we pay for the brand. You mm -hmm. know, we we pay a premium because it's the brand we want, whatever yeah. that brand may be. Well, I'll keep you know, in mind now, other manufacturers that I never heard they starting to come out. I'm sorry, with the radius. Like DS18 is releasing uh, Well, DS18, one. we know DS18 came out with a CarPlay, Android Auto Radio. Um, more companies are coming out with radios. And I'm like, okay, maybe they see this window that everybody's like, we don't have radios. We don't have radios. And oh, it's they, 100%. Boom, right there. Oh, no, you want uh, a radio? 100%. You know, I, I mean, it's, this is what I was talking about. We knew this story would go right in there. Um, you know, Stinger with the High 10 radio, they've discontinued the Elevate, so the Elevate is gone. So you might be able to find some deals on those. Um, but the High 10 is in a perfect storm right now. They literally can't make enough of those radios to, to move out. Like, I was, they're again talking to our reporter in the field, Jeff Smith, at the Jeep Bash this weekend. They brought mm -hmm. like 45 or 47 High 10s out there to sell, and they brought back three. Three or four, something like that. Yeah, so I mean, they sold almost every one of them, and those are those are like a thousand bucks a pop. So, 
I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's one hell of a weekend, man. Hey, man. You know, come back with 40 large? Yeah. Jesus, sign me up for that. No kidding. Um, yeah. Uh, it's like a Rolex, second hand, go over list. Uh, yeah, I mean, but there again, we're not talking about a Rolex. We're talking about a three hundred dollar radio, a three hundred dollar <laughs> or a two hundred forty dollar. The whole reason why those radios exist in the first place was because they were cheap. Well, of you course, know, they're affordable. affordable. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I'm just like, if I'm gonna pay over for something, man, it's just gotta be like, it's gotta be awesome. You okay, know what I mean? So, if you say, uh, if I'm gonna pay something like three hundred dollars more or two hundred dollars more has to be one of the top of the line. Well, not only that, it's got, like, okay, so remember when technology used to come out, like, like when the, the, the DVD player came mm-hmm. out, it was like the first DVD player, it's a thousand mm-hmm. bucks, and everyone's like, oh my God, and you're paying a thousand bucks, so you could be one of the first people to say you got a DVD player, and you're mm-hmm. like, oh man, I got, you know, I got this, oh, I paid a thousand bucks for it, I'm so cool. And then six months later, when they're 299, and everyone looks at you and goes, how's that, you know, and they're walking out of them in their, you know, shopping cart with a thing of diapers at Walmart going, Hey man, how's that thousand dollar DVD player going for you, bro? And they're like, <laughs> screw you, man. I was first. Nobody cares. <laughs> that is right. Uh, real quick, we have three minutes left. Yes. I'm going to tell you was the amplifier that Ground Zero sent us to put it in the lab? What's the model number? Wow. I don't even know the model number. Exactly. What is the model number of the Ground Zero? Amplifier that they send us to put it in the lab. Um, and back to that, yes, Victor, wait it out, man. We all yeah. got Bluetooth speakers. Trust me, we've come in with plenty of people have their Bluetooth speakers sitting on the front of their car that they've been listening to for the past six months, um, waiting to get a radio installed in their dash for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. But hey, I also think it's a show of the economy that people have an extra $150 to waste on a entry-level product. So, I mean, I guess that's good. And speaking of entry-level products, we have one more story to talk about, and mm-hmm. this one, uh, this is something we've all been waiting for. Something that we've all needed. Chrysler Jeep Power Accessory Harness. I know what you're thinking, wait, what is that? Well, guys, what this is, this, in adding accessory power, I have to read this. Adding accessory power that ignition switched or constant vehicle dependent to operate 12 volt accessory, modern vehicles can use complex CAN bus systems consisting of multiple microcontrollers and communications with the factory system. The factory systems only provide one safe connection point that will not interfere with OEM systems. This location is behind the power port 12 volt cigarette socket. Notice how they call it a power port 12 volt cigarette socket. So depending on how old you are, you'll know what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. The socket is only is the only place that a Swiss accessory can safely be attached. And then it gives a list of some of the compatible trucks that they found this with, which this is a generic cigarette lighter adapter that pretty much 90% of the cars on the road use this particular plug so it will work with all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, however, my God, man, seriously, like, when they told me about this and how excited they were for this, I was like, okay, what are you guys talking about? Like, so for years now, we've been tapping into the cigarette lighter input on mm-hmm. the backside to turn on amplifiers, to turn on Bluetooth modules, to turn on FM modulators, uh, to turn on lighting underneath the dash. Like, we've literally been doing this for 30 years, mm-hmm. okay? 30 years we've been using this power port. And it isn't until now that they come out with a stupid T-harness for this? Okay. I mean, come on, man. And then it's called, it's for a Jeep, you know? Because, like, I guess anyone doing anything has to be for a Jeep. Yeah. No offense to the Jeep owners. You guys, that's all you, bro. Um, but I'm like, like, when Amp was selling the the like the heyday of the FM modulator. We couldn't get something like this. Like literally we're trying to smash these FM modulators into these yeah, cars like yeah. so we can play iPods and stuff. And we're yes. like in there having to tap into cigarette lighters. They couldn't make this part. Now here's where the fun part. This is retail at $40. <laughs> hey. $40. I, 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 I don't see it, man. I'm sorry. I mean, okay. Like I said, this makes things quick and easy. And I'm all for quick and easy. Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if, if you can do that, then spectacular. But I just, it's, this is one of those things. And when they, I, there again, I was like, when they told me they had this, I was thinking something totally different. I was not thinking this. Mm-hmm. And then when I saw this, I was like, oh, it is that. 
Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. There is a market for this, and there are plenty of people that will find this extremely useful because not everyone wants to tap into a cigarette lighter. Not everyone can read what is positive and negative. I think this is going to sell well. I think this is going to do. Um, we'll probably stock them for the simple fact that, yeah, it's literally click, click, done. Of Here course. you go. Yeah. But the fact that it took them till now to come out with this when we're really not even going into the dash to use these things anymore because we have uh tr4s we have ignition threes we have all these devices that create accessory power yep, for us yep, yep. a better way ah unbelievable but, all right hey that takes us to the giveaway for those of you that are just tuning in the last couple minutes we're giving away this the ground zero baseball hat uh -huh. uh, trucker style hat trucker i should style. say i like it it's um, pretty neat and so this is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be the sponsor of the show for the next three weeks. So if you didn't get your hat today, uh, maybe try again next week or the week after. Yeah. Uh, we have some coffee mugs and we have some hats we're going to give away. So and stay tuned And the winner is... All right, hold on. Um, I think we have him is it, right is it here. This guy right here? Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Yep, that is him right here. Yep. Okay. Eddie Katz. I'm sorry, say it. Eddie Katz 69. You're the winner. You guessed it right. I didn't even know. Um, and you put the exact same model number. Yeah, you Perfect. got it right. So way to go there. Yeah. All right. To claim your prize, this guy right here, I need you to send me an email with your address to carstereotalk at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. Carstereotalk at yahoo.com. I need your name, of course, your YouTube name, uh, real name, YouTube name, so we know who you are, and uh, your address, and we'll get this out to you in the next couple weeks. Um, be patient, guys. I, I, I do it all in one sitting, so I wait a while before because I have Sue help me with it, and, you know, I don't want to push my luck. Uh -huh. um, but and for those of you waiting for the unboxing review of that amplifier, it is coming. We've already filmed most of it. Uh, so next week, or sorry, next month, this month coming up, tomorrow is going to be ground zero month. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff in store. We're going to be talking about them, and you know, so them being a sponsor is always fun. We like, we like and have a good time working with those guys. So yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <sighs> and if you guys, you know, want to see some look product from them too, check it out. Uh, GroundZeroUSA.com. Bam. All right, guys. You know the news. You have a week's worth of knowledge in you. It's Friday. Some of you guys, this is the last day of the week. You just might got to make it a couple more hours, and then you can head home and get on with your weekend. For us working stiffs, you we, got a, so we got a 911 sitting over here that we get to start working on later today, so we're yeah. excited about that. Don't worry, we're going to film it. We're going to film it. Yeah. We're in the filming phase right now, so we're just burning burning SD cards, making as much stuff as we can. Don't burn nothing. It's a lot of burning in the world already. I know. All right. But hey, with that, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later next time. Bye, guys. Bye.